All right. Now, when it comes time to make changes, we want to implement a retaining wall along the um, left-hand side of the roadway. Rather than recreating anything, we're just going to modify the roadway cross-section or typical section by placing the retaining wall and a brow ditch also into that. Now I'm going to click the test button and I'm going to modify the order of end conditions. So I'm just going to change the ordering of end conditions so that my retaining wall is the first solution. And we can click the draw button just to see the results and then close and say OK to that. Now watch the model and the cross sections update. So we are implementing design changes and design decisions into our design model and refining that continually. As we design, we model, and as we model, we design. And we can see that in the cross-section view, uh, well, in any of the views. Okay? We'll rotate the 3D view around, and again, we can see the results of our <clears throat> placement of the retaining wall in the model. Now, we see that in the cross-section view, and we can move from the 2D to the 3D, and we turn our attention as we continue to refine our design model to the side slopes in the center area of our corridor, of our roadways. We want to tell those side slopes, rather than intersecting the ground, the existing ground, we want them to intersect the actual retaining wall of the adjacent corridor. So we're going to redefine the target that they're seeking. And we can do that directly in the corridor. Click Apply. Notice the corridor reprocesses. We'll see it update in the 3D view and in the cross-section view. Now, again, we are modeling and designing in a simultaneous environment. Okay? We can walk through those cross-sections. We can rotate the view around. So we're able to, again, evaluate and interpret um, our design within the model as we, uh, as we work. Now, in addition to that, within the model view, I can just modify the display property. So I'm going to turn the level off of the centerline graphics because I want to refine the display of the model. And I'm going to change the display style to smooth. Now, within this engineered model, we'll see the striping along the roadway. We can see, again, materials have been applied. And as before, we can rotate the view um, to get a different perspective again so that we can evaluate and decide on this design. Okay?